Hey, what's up, everybody? How you doing? I found this article while I was browsing freaking Twitter and stuff because I was just bored as hell, and I found that uh, the the one of the lead guys in Bioware has lost because it it's become quote unquote too corporate. That I can totally believe, especially in this day and age. Blizzard's pretty much fallen. EA was never really a fun freaking place to work at anyway. I mean, those guys got busted a long time ago in the early 2000s running quote-unquote gamer sweatshops where they would force uh, uh, workers to just keep playing the game with very little to no breaks, no lunch break, and if they left to go to the bathroom, they were severely penalized, even fired. It was a huge, crazy situation. Even Blizzard was apparently caught doing one of these same things, allegedly, around the same time that EA was busted. It was all over gaming, well, what we would call gaming journalism sites back in those days. But, you know, just like now, I, I use the, uh, the term journalist when referring to people who write gaming articles very, very loosely. Let's go ahead and get in this article, shall we? Mass Effect writer Drew Karpishin... Carpishing, carper, per, 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 said he left Bioware because it's become too corporate. <laughs> Longtime Bioware designer James O'Hellen, O'Hellen, left the studio in July 2018 after 22 years and credits on games ranging from Baldur's Gate to Anthem. His departure came shortly after that of writer Drew Carpishin. Carpishin, Carper Hopper Hopper, who'd been with Bioware for nearly as long. His first credit is a writer and editor of Baldur's Gate 2 manual. I love that game. That was such a great, awesome game. If you've never played Baldur's Gate or Baldur's Gate 2, I highly recommend you pick up the one of those or b both titles because uh, both of them were really fun to play. And like I said, I highly recommend them. You'd be in for a treat. Anyway, now they're back together again at Olen's new studio, Archetype Entertainment. I'm proud to announce that I'm the lead writer for Archetype Entertainment, Carpishan wrote on his blog. Founded by James Olen, the creative genius behind Bioware's hits like Baldur's Gate, KOTOR, and Dragon Age, Archetype is a new video game studio under the Wizards of the Coast umbrella. And oh, well, if they didn't like corporate Bioware, wait till they get a hold of corporate Wizards of the Coast. Those people boot you out of freaking tournaments for fucking nothing. Anyway, and I haven't been this excited to work on a project for on a project in a long, long time. Side note, I've always enjoyed working with Wizards of the Coast. They even published my first novel. <laughs> He also touched on his time at Bioware in the update, describing it as a, quote, dream job. Talented people working together to create epic games like Baldur's Gate, KOTOR, The Mass Effect, and Dragon Age. But that changed as the studio grew and became more successful, he wrote. Of course it would, because, you know, shareholders don't, shareholders aren't gamers, and they don't really care about the customer base at all. Uh, they look at us like we're freaking scum. And all they want to do is just chop up and destroy the game and sell it, give you as little as possible, but charge you the absolute maximum amount. Uh, apparently, that's going to be happening pretty soon uh, because uh, the new God of War, uh, a new God of War and the new Last of Us 2 that's coming out. Allegedly, and I'll go ahead and make another, uh, I'll make a, vi a video about that. They're allegedly uh, going to be incorporating microtransactions in single-player games now. So, fun. We became more corporate. We were less able to make what we loved, and the teams were pushed to create games based on market research rather than our creative instincts and passions. My dream job became just a job, and I lost the enthusiasm and excitement I once had. Carpishin said that the early days of Archetype remind him of the early days at Bioware, and rather boldly, he predicted that com comparable things are in the works as his new outfit. I know that we have big shoes to fill with Bioware. I was a part of a legacy that will endure forever. We created some of the most beloved CRPGs of the past two decades, he wrote. But I truly believe at Archetype, we, we have the talent and the opportunity to do something just as amazing. Carpishan isn't the only Bioware alum to join Horlin at Archetype. 
Chad Robertson, the former head of life service at BioWare, who left the company in late 2019, is Archetype's general manager. The studio is currently working on a quote-unquote story-driven multi-platform role-playing game set in a new science fiction universe. So that could be really cool. Uh, uh, I have really nothing uh, but good things to say about uh, all of those games mentioned. I don't really know this guy very well, but I'm really happy that he's found his settings and his, his footing in a new gaming company. Because quite frankly, the, the reasons to, to support Bioware are, are just slim to none. There's really no reason to support Bioware at this point. I mean, you could just buy the old titles and just go, hey, this is when this game company was cool. And honest to God, after the last Mass Effect disaster, uh, I wouldn't support this company at all. And I feel genuinely really, really terrible. I feel bad for y'all, the Mass Effect fans, because you guys got screwed really, really hard with, with the Mass Effect 3 ending and uh, what had happened the last uh, Mass Effect game that dropped. That was just terrible. And hopefully this, uh, this gaming studio at Archetype, I hope they do really well, and I hope they produce nothing but really great things. So anyway, thanks for watching the vid. I really appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind shooting me a quick sub and thumbs up in this video and all that stuff and turning on notifications for when I upload more stuff, that would be muy, muy appreciated. All right. Thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. See you tomorrow. Bye.